In the campaign for world peace, more and more children seem to be stepping into the spotlight. Youngsters have written letters to world leaders, and Sydney schoolboy Eamon Burke recently visited the Soviet Union at the invitation of President Gorbachev. Now, a 12-year-old boy from Australia's Hare Krishna community has written a peace song calling for the release of fellow sect members from Russian prisons, psychiatric hospitals and labour camps. Tracy Bowden reports on a musical plea from the Krishnas to the Kremlin. These children are growing up in the idyllic surroundings of the Hare Krishna farm at Mawulambar in northern New South Wales. But they're learning that for followers of their faith elsewhere, there are harsher realities. What do you know about the Soviet Union? Can you think of anything you know about the Soviet Union, Prahlad? It's cold. It's cold. It all started in a history lesson. The subject, the Soviet Union and its treatment of Hare Krishnas. All of the devotees have been put in concentration camps and hospitals where they make them a bit crazy. They're not being able to follow a religion of their choice. Just for chanting Hare Krishna they get persecuted. Then the children learnt of the death of a Krishna baby in a Russian jail. The baby's mother was in a concentration camp and the um and she was only the baby was only allowed to see her mother one hour every day and she just died. We thought that if we wrote to Gorbachev and if we wrote a song to for the world that it might help in a little way. Prahlad was born into the Krishna religion 12 years ago. He wrote the words to the song, a musician did the rest. What would you say to Mr Gorbachev if, if you could ever talk to him? I would tell him um, how I don't think he would like it if he were persecuted for his religious belief. Please, please let our friends go. So for the Krishna kids, it was out of the temple, into the recording studio, and onto the peace bandwagon. Mr. Gorbachev, you may say you want peace and that's okay. But try to see our point of view. The Hare Krishnas want peace too. I hope everyone will listen to the music and it will bring more attention to the human rights position in the USSR. Mr. Obertop, let the world see. Do you think it can do any good? Yes, I hope so. If we all can do something to help them, it could stop. Mr. Tracy Bowden reporting. That single will be released later this month through EMI and a follow-up single is planned called Surprise, Surprise, Mr Reagan. That's all we have for tonight. Back at the same time tomorrow night. Tomorrow night the program is coming out of Perth. We'll see you then. Good night.